even as the interview, I knew at that, that place, I'm gonna be walked on. Look at this beautiful sun. Then, I was raised by very good people that would tell me, hey, no matter what, you have to be a good person. So I'm like, okay, well, how do I do it? How do I, I, I put my foot down, how do I, how do I, I gain respect without being an asshole? And funnily enough, out of everybody that was on TV, everybody that was watching, Gordon Ramsay was the model I wanted to be. He was, he was so rude, he can insult everybody. And I was like, dude, I, I admire that because again, it's not so much that you're an asshole, it's not so much that you're, you're screaming because you have a good heart. Like, in your mind, in, in your mind, it's really the, it's, it's really the, the right here, right now. And what I love about Gordon Ramsay is, I started watching, um, <laughs> it was crazy, dude. It was insane. I started watching MasterChef. And again, all of that was, I was able to watch it. And uh, look, at this. look at the reflection. It's almost as if there was a rainbow. Uh, so, again, with Gordon Ramsay, it was a, a case of, I became obsessed. And it was just after I, I stopped cooking. So there was still this mentality of, I miss cooking, I like cooking. It's funny, again, I'm going to repeat myself, but as a kid, I would watch MasterChef Australia. And the thing with MasterChef Australia, it was really calm. It was those people that had a good time, that had passion, that was fighting for that passion. It was emotional. It was something that I really looked. Then you look at the USA, and you had this guy. And at first, I didn't like Gordon, because I said, this guy is crazy. But then I started to understand where he came from, and I understand what he stood for, why is he like that? So I started being obsessed with him. And on YouTube, again, I was able to find Elle's Kitchen, Kitchen Nightmare, and much later on, Hotel Hell. So I've had, and of course, the, the um, Elle's Kitchen, right? It was like 12 fucking season, 12 season for free. And it, it was, to me, it was beautiful because again, I would watch a 12 season, it was, content after content you'd watch nine hours do nine hours times 12 right back in the day you didn't have times two i would have two weeks of content to watch which is, was great right and then uh you had you had kitchen nightmare which was six season a lot less but still some content and then you go, you would go back to master chef it was constantly it was constantly changing um in fact that all of those were free on youtube i think the reason why I love Gordon Ramsay so much, right, is because he was he was available. He's a role model for a lot of people. He um he really taught me a lot about myself. He really taught me about how to deal with people. And it's funny because I was too shy, I was too much of a nice guy to be like Gordon and say, Hey fuck you, you donkey, you fucking idiot sandwich, fuck you. I was too shy, but in the back of my mind <laughs> I would see a reaction, and I swear to God, I would tell myself, how would Gordon react? And it was a, I, I feel like the, the charm of Gordon Ramsay, why I fell, I fell for him, not romantically, of course, it sounds super sus, but it's not. Um, the reason why I, I cared about him so much was because he was a role model that was really accessible. He was a role model, for example, right, in your life, you're gonna have great parents. I had great parents, but my parents were too different. They were very different, and it was hard to say, okay, well, <laughs> I like that about him, I like that about her. I'm gonna take this and this, you can't, you, right? Because, again, they would put me in the middle of a fight. It would put me in the middle of a fight, I would feel guilty for spending time with my mom, I would feel guilty for spending time from my, my, my dad. Was that? But Jordan Ramsey, and I, I had good teacher, but again, uh, school wasn't a place where I, I, I felt like I belonged because I got ADHD, and I felt like, I was like, dude, I don't like school. And I had a great teacher, don't get me wrong. I had an amazing teacher. And I feel like, and again, this is going to be sounding super bad. and going to be super sexist. But I find the, find the fact that Gordon was a dude, and me, I'm a dude. I think for me to have a, a male role model, not that my father didn't do a good job, but to have a male role model, it's, it's more how I want to present myself, you know? I'm, I'm 31 years old, which means that I'm really open-minded. But there is some part of me that's really old school. There's, there's some part of me that's really conservative, right? That's life. Um, with 
<laughs> now to finish with Gordon, um, why why he was and again it was the charisma, it was the fact that the guy was funny, that the, the insult they would do it was funny. The guy did some great stuff. There was some really sentimental thing about the show. And Master Chef, there was some really good moments. You would care about him, and you saw him on Master Chef Junior where he was a really different person. He was kind. You also saw him as a father. Um, but why again? The reason also that I care about him so much was because. I feel I felt he was working so much. He was giving away such a much of his life. He did show that to show that to show that to show that to shows. Do me a favor, go on YouTube, right? Hell's Kitchen. Look at the channel. Do me a favor, go on Kitchen Nightmare. Look at the channel. Do me a favor, go on Gordon Ramsay. Look at the channel. He did a number of shows, and he had a family. He like he had like five kids. And again, as a father, I'm not saying he was absent. I'm not saying that. He, I'm saying I'm trying to. I'm trying to say that there's a moment that he must have missed. There's a moment that no matter how how hard you try, you weren't able to make. And why do I appreciate that? Why do I? I fucking adore that. I admire that because you did that sacrifice for us. You did sacrifice for content. Of course, some people would say, hey. Some people would say, and again, it's understanding the character behind Gordon Ramsay. It's understanding the mentality of Gordon Ramsay. See, you sacrifice so much of your family, of your personal life for us, and you create a new... Gordon Ramsay, and uh, please understand this, Gordon Ramsay is responsible, personally responsible, for so many of the new generation of Cook. For so many of them. The why, why was he an asshole? Why was he a dick? Why was he insulting? Because if you go in the kitchen, that's how it is. That's how it is. There's this mentality of really, really high shame. Uh, very, res re really respective, calling each other chef. And, 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 they, and it's funny because you kind of see it in a good kitchen. And of course, I've been in kitchen. I've been a bus boy. I was working in fast food. In a kitchen that rolls, it's nice. It's There's no feeling like it. It's a drug, it's so much fun. And you go in a kitchen that is well run and you're like, okay, well, but it's doing their job. You call each other chef. Then you go to a kitchen where there's a problem and then the whole thing changed. There's there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of things that's going wrong. It's a very stressful job. It's a very demanding job, emotionally, physically. You know, you're, you're five people in the kitchen serving 50. It's hard, it's really hard, you know? And of course you're gonna have the prep, but just, you can never have too many preps because otherwise you will throw away. So you do prepare a little bit of prep. The preps and the rest is on the go. Um, and with Gordon, it was the it was the the underbelly of cooking. It was the underbelly of the kitchen. You can see it in the bear. In the bear, to me, the bear, the newest show on FX with um, Jeremy Allen, aka Liz Gallagher, um, represent that so much because you can see there's moments where in the kitchen they're talking. They're, they're talking like, hey, okay, her chef, you know, they, they was, there was a lot of moments where it's, it's a chaos and they're screaming at each other. And again, I'm going to go back to Gordon Ramsay. Why I liked him so much is because you could see on Kitchen Nightmare, right? And you could see how it was. You see, this is the, the, the nature point today. Oh. <sighs> see, and then you had, um. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you had the, this unbelievable, like, it, it's crazy because you had Kitchen Nightmare and like, okay, right? And then you had L Kitchen and L Kitchen, 